Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we look at the bourbons and whiskies to look out for in the month of December. You know that drill. Let's run the video. All right then, friends and allies, welcome back. Hopefully you've all had an excellent Thanksgiving and you're enjoying your Black Friday as well because this is when this video is dropping. Thank you to everybody who subscribed lately. We are getting oh so close to that 5,000 subscriber mark. We are just so, so close. Would be awesome to do the live stream before we get to Christmas, but you know, if we need to do it afterwards, we will do that as well. If you want to be within a chance to win one of these six balls for absolutely free, you do two things. You need to be a subscriber, hit this, this subscribe button right down below right now. And then secondly, after this video, go over to the whiskeycode.square.site and then fill in your free, absolutely free, that you don't have to pay for shipping, just a free ticket. And then as soon as we poll the tickets for the winners during the live stream event, we will then get the balls in the people's hands. So you can win Well 107 OWA, Will It For You Rye uh, from Alex who donated that, thank you Alex, uh, Old Forester Barrel Strength Single Barrel, and then Buffalo Trace Single Barrel Pick, Early Times Bottled and Bond, the Black Brown Foreman, and then also the E.H. Taylor Small Batch. So some of the videos you might see, we might not have uh, announced this yet, but uh, it got a little bit convoluted. However, these are the six bottles for the lottery. So if you would want one of the opportunities to get these, then go over to the Whiskey Codes website after this video and fill in your free giveaway and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get these balls out of here and then let's get on with today's video, shall we? So normally this is where we dive straight into the video and whiskies to look out for however we're doing something oh so different today and that is because someone has decided to support the channel uh, so we're going to run a quick advert for you here and then we'll get back to the video as soon as possible let's face it after a night on the drinks i don't bounce back like i used to i have to make a choice i can either have a good night or a good next day that was until i found z-biotics hate feeling miserable the day after drinks same and luckily, a game-changing product called Z-Biotics is here to help. We all have busy lives these days and can't afford to waste a day stuck on the couch because of a few drinks the night before. Z-Biotics is the answer we've all been looking for. Z-Biotics is pre-alcohol probiotic. is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for the real rough next day. Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it the most. Just remember to drink Zbiotics before drinking alcohol, make it your first drink of the night, and also drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep for your best tomorrow. So some of the long-term fans or some of the long-term subscribers to the channel might have noticed a little bit of change in me over the last few months here. At the beginning of year in, in the year in January, I weighed about 310 pounds, uh, which I was not comfortable with. Now, November, 11 months later, I've dropped down to 245, so like 60, 65 pound decrease. And I've done that through strict dieting, changing of lifestyle, and also heavy work in the gym. So Zbiotics is right up my street. When I heard about this, I felt like it would be an excellent match for us here at the Whiskey Cove. I often go to the gym after making videos the next day, and I want to be make sure I'm back to my old self. And Zbiotics definitely helps with that as well. If you're interested in getting some Zbiotics, go over to zbiotics.com, Whiskey Cove, or Zbiotics forward slash Whiskey Cove, or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use Whiskey Cove at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using my code so you can stay prepared no matter what the time or the occasion is. Zbiotics is backed with 100% money uh, back guarantee so if you're unsatisfied for whatever reason they'll refund your money no questions asked. So we got the six pack here and as you can see it comes in a very sharp pack here and then you open it up and then you'll have a bunch of veils that you're selected with like i said i had a six pack comes with this really nice booklet that gives you a little bit of information about zbiotics here and they kind of have like half ounce size here they are uh, it does have 
ingredients and kind of the nutritional information on the back here. Yeah? The ingredients are water, flavors, potassium sorbate, sodium chloride, bacillus, subtilis, uh, and it is zero calorie, zero carbs. So if you're on keto, paleo, you can have this as well. Uh, and it's just the perfect pre-alcohol probiotic. So again, remember to head on over to zbiotics.com slash whiskey cove and use the code whiskey cove at the checkout for 15% off. Thank you to zbiotics to sponsor in this channel and episode and supporting what we do here at the whiskey cove. So go over to there and check them out too. All right then folks. So whiskeys to look out for for the month of December. So we have some big hitters this month that's for sure december uh does see a decent amount of whiskies released november is probably the biggest of the year but december definitely comes in strong too so first up on this list and that is a new release from jim bean and that is their bookers the storytelling batch the 2023 Dash 04 batch. This is coming in at 63.9% ABV or 127.8 proof. So this is gonna be made up of barrels uh, from four different production dates that were aged in four different warehouses. Stay with me a little bit here because it might also get a little convoluted here. So 26% come from the sixth floor of warehouse Z. 14% comes from the sixth floor of warehouse H. 25% come from the fifth floor of warehouse G, and then 35% come from the fifth floor of warehouse three. So this is uh, the youngest age of the distillate in here, seven years, two months. Uh, that's the youngest that's in here. I, I couldn't find out if there was anything too much older than that, but I know that's at least the youngest that's in here. So the, the um, the, the mash bill wasn't disclosed on this. It's pretty hard to find. Some of the information that I was able to attain was rumors, and it was around 75% corn, 13% rye, and then 12% malted barley. MSRP on this is sitting at $99. It was $80, then $90. Now it's up to $100 on this. The storytelling batch talks a little bit about, I think it was Freddie No and Booker No spending time together and the stories that were told between them two. So it's a homage to that relationship way back when. Booker's for me, I was a little bit surprised by Booker's lately when we did a barrel proof blind. It surprised me a little bit, but still it's quite, it's not quite my palate. I don't like a spicier, uh, a more abrasive whiskey, if you like. Or maybe abrasive is the wrong term, but it's very nut forward uh, and it has generally a little bit more spice than kind of the palate that I tend to like. But people who love Booker's just love it and back it to the tilt. Uh, so, you know, if you do like the Jim Beam profile, then this will be one to look out for. Early, uh, early discussions based upon this could be a really good release of Booker's. So that was the story tell a batch. Next up, we go from Kentucky and we go over to High West because they are back with their second release of the Prisoner's Share. So I have the first release up on the shelf over there. I haven't opened it. and I know a lot of you folks have been asking for me to open it for a while, but I was fortunate that I was able to try it at a friend's house in Utah and I wasn't the biggest fan, so I'm not, I'm not really in any rush to open that. I'm told that this is the second release of two that's only ever going to be done, so there are only going to be two batches, uh, two releases, I should say. One was last year, and then this one, obviously, this year. I was told that when I went out for the Midwinter Nights Dram release over in Utah this year. So this batch, the second batch, is coming in at 51% alcohol, or 102 proof. It's a blend of straight whiskies. So it's gonna be a blend of 75% corn, 21% rye, and then 4% malted barley. 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. 78.5% corn, 13% rye, and 8.5% malted barley, all from MGP. And then there's gonna be two ryes blended in as well, and that's gonna be 95% rye, and then a 5% malted barley from MGP. And then lastly, 80% rye, 20% malted barley from High West. So I don't know the exact percentages of all those straight whiskies. However, uh, lots from MGP and one mash bill from High West. How all that comes together, 
Uh, it didn't come to, together excellently for batch one, but maybe the extra time or how they did it this time might be a little better. So then they just get used empty uh, prisoner's share barrels and then they dump that blend whiskies in and then they age it. So this is gonna be coming in at $175.99. So yes, definitely up there in price. It is only two releases ever, apparently, unless they decide more. But so it feels more like a collector's bottle. Uh, and for me, I, I like High West. I like to try to keep some old bottles from High West. So I might get this. I think I got that one because I traded into that. I think I traded it for a Jack Daniels 10, which I paid like $70 for. So for $176, I didn't really feel that value so much. Uh, so if I can maybe trade into this one again, something similar like that, then I think I might just do that. And it's gonna be available in some states and at the distillery there in Utah. Next up, we are going with the Whistle Pig, the Boss Hog, the Ten Commandments Rye Whiskey. Price is going to be just a mere, mere $600 MSRP. Uh, and then the, the, the ABV is going to be between 52.6% and 53.5%, depends on what batch you get. This is straight rye whiskey finished in craft meat and aromatic resin barrels. So only rye whiskey in the US has to be at least 51% rye. You can make rye whiskey anywhere in the world, and it doesn't have to follow that strict guideline of being 51%. It can be anything. It's just in the US, it has to be at least 51%. I think I think uh, stuff like the Alberta Premium that calls itself a rye. I think the mash bill of this is actually, I don't think it's 51% rye. Uh, and I think it gets a little bit funny up in Canada because sometimes they call bourbon's rye. It, it's just a, a little convoluted. I wish they would be standardized like it is with bourbon. So you're probably asking, uh, it's finished in aromatic resin barrels. So what is aromatic resin barrels? And I had to find out a little bit more information about this. So I went over to the, the website, the Whistlepig website, and they go on to say, the 10th release in the Boss Hog series, the Com 10 Commandments, is finished in craft meat barrels and aromatic resin barrels. Boswella and Comifora are trees that are native to Africa and India that have a fragrant gum resin, which is used to produce incense extracts. Frankincense is an extract from Boswella trees, and myrrh is an extract from Comfora trees. In the beginning, there were five promises. To be a single barrel, bottled up proof, powerfully complex, distinctly unique, uh, and then stupendous. The Boss Hog Ten Commandments transcends tradition with a double finish inspired by our own land of milk and honey. Experimental whey spirit infused and aromatic resins from Egypt craft aged mead barrels. Is it worth that amount of money for MSRP $600? Well, you know, I, I've never bought one of the Boss Hogs. I, I don't think I've really, I might have bought one whistle pig in my whole time drinking whiskey. So maybe if there's folks that have had the Boss Hogs at home, I would like to comment and share some of their experiences. Is this bottle worth $600? Or is any of the Boss Hogs worth $600? Because we would really like to know. So if you find one, don't pay more than $600, which is the MSRP for that. And let me just double check, is it $600? Yep, $599.99. So don't go over that because you'll be paying more than MSRP there. So of course, with Christmas coming, also come, brings in the new year. And Barrel Bourbon are back with their new year 2024 cast strength bourbon whiskey. Coming in at 56.5% ABV or 113 proof. They go on to say that new year, new traditions. To toast the new year, we've crafted this limited release bourbon by marrying different barrels and ages and mash bills. Cheers to the new year, blend it in. This limited release, uh, meticulously crafted from a tapestry of excellent blended components, invites you to savor a symphony of flavors. Explore the re refined elegance of a Kentucky's eight-year-old essence, the mature richness of uh, Wyoming's 11-year-old character, the vibrant spirits of New York's five-year-old flair, and then de delight in the harmonious union of Tennessee's eight and 15-year-old notes, and then intricate layers of Indiana's five, six, and nine-year-old depths, and the bold charm of Texas's five-year-old charisma. So obviously a lot of states and a lot of barrels mixed in here. A selection of five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and fifteen-year-old straight bourbon whiskies distilled in Kentucky, Wyoming, New York, Tennessee, Indiana, and Texas. Mash bill with all of that coming together is corn seventy-two percent, rye twenty-three percent, malted barley four percent, and then wheat 
1%. So uh, MSRP on this is gonna be about $95. Had a lot going on for just $95. That's usually where a lot of craft spirits or barrel, uh, the barrel bourbon spirits kind of sit in around that $90 mark. I think this just might be worth that value for money. Like I said, it would be really interesting to see how all those flavors come together because, like I said, there's a lot going on. So if you're able to find it, it's going to be released in the month of December. Maybe you can get it just in time for the new year. That was Barrel Bourbon New Year 2024 Cast Strength Bourbon. Next up, and we are going to Brown Foreman's Old Forester, and that's because it is the time of year that they release their President's Batch. This is coming in this year's at 56.05% ABV or 112.1 proof. This it is an undisclosed mash bill, but we know it's at least 51% corn. On the Old Forester website, they go on to say the President's Choice is a single barrel expression of Old Forester's most exceptional barrels, hand-selected by our, our company president. The President's Choice was historically and is today driven by the palate and knowledge of Old Forester's current president. Each barrel in our modern iteration is personally chosen by President and fifth generation Brown family member Campbell Brown. Referenced in prior iterations of this historic label, these barrels will typically be aged eight years and vary in a tradition range of 110 to 120 proof of which we said it is 112.1 proof because president's choice expression are hand selected which have showcased truly exceptional character represent the foremost quality this bourbon will be released only when such distinct barrels come of full maturity and develop the exceptional taste profile of this label the finest selection of the world's finest bourbon quite bold statements from uh, from Al Forrester for this whiskey, but it is the president's choice. It's the president of the company using his own knowledge and what he's learned in the industry to craft one of the most special bourbons of the bourbon calendar there. MSRP is $150. This kind of seems to be the new, uh, the new baseline for anything that's limited or annually released at the moment in time. This is going to be Re ready around December. I think they might be releasing it on their website, so you have to maybe sign up for the lottery. So make sure you go over and check out the updates. Also, sign up for their newsletter so you can get updates about when that's going to be released and other bottles that they will be doing. I've never tried Old Forest, the President's Choice. Probably should have tried it when I was at the Old Forest the Distillery not so long ago, but I remember it being quite a hefty price tag for just a one ounce pour. So that was Old Forest's President Choice Bourbon, and that leaves us with one more whiskey left, and that is quite a special one, and one that uh, uh, peasants like me or you are not going to see, and that is because this is Eagle Rare. 25 Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. If you remember, Eagle Rare came out with, uh, Buffalo Trace I should say, came out with Double Eagle Rare, uh, which was 20 years old, and that was about $5,000, but they are back with a 25 year old expression of this whiskey, which is gonna be coming in at uh, $10,000. So sell your car, uh, scoop up the rainy day fund, and uh, get over to the biggest liquor store you can find because I don't think there's going to be many of these out there, that's for sure. So the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, this is a tradition but embracing change. At 25 years old, Eagle Red 25 marks the oldest expression released from Eagle Rare portfolio to date. Defy an existing perception of ultra-aged bourbon with its smooth, complex flavor profile, Eagle Red 25 is a remarkable result from the world's most award-winning distillery, multiple decades and $20 million plus experimental program. Eagle Red 25 is the first release from Warehouse P, one of Buffalo Trace's two experimental warehouses. A purpose-built, state-of-the-art warehouse, Warehouse P was constructed to test if it was possible to extend favorably, favorably both the aging and maturation processes typical for American whiskey and bourbon. Eagle Rare 25 was bottled upon reaching its silver anniversary in the barrel, symbolizing by the custom sterling silver wing hand hammered to encase each hand blown crystal decanter perfectly. Opening the custom display box reveals an eagle's outstretched wings framing the 101 proof bourbon, 50.5% ABV, which also contains an elegant glass eagle inside the bottle. This dramatic presentation is befitting of this exceptional nature of this rare first of its kind bottling just pretty crazy bottle to look at that it was very similar 
to what they had with the double eagle rare, but this is almost more vase looking. The other one had like a really super awesome eagle right on top. I actually preferred the double eagle rare decanter. It kind of illuminated as you opened the case, and I can assure that this probably has something like that going on. But for $10,000 and a very small release of these, I have a feeling that uh, the only people that are going to be getting their hands on these balls are people who are probably looking to flip them. But hopefully, you know, maybe one or two might land in the hands of people who would really appreciate them as well. So, I know that might have been a little bit to take in. And again, thank you to Z-Biotics for sponsoring today's episode. We really appreciate working with them and they've been fantastic throughout this whole process. So, as we say on this channel, as we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time, Cheers. $10,000 for one bottle of bourbon. When is it going to end? <laughs>